What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Del from Mickey Quill, and it's time for one of my favorite videos to film. And I think it's one of your favorite videos from the feedback that I've got. It's Grab Five Times. So, Grab Five is something that I made up a few years ago where you grab five things from your stash and you have to use them in a project. No matter what they are, no matter how little or how much you use, they all have to make an appearance. And I found that by limiting myself not limiting myself you can use other things of course but by focusing on five things it really helped me get some layouts done and not get lost in my stash because it's very easy to do so today i'm using some chipboard some 12 by 12 chipboard uh, word thickers a stencil some ribbon and trim and rubbery chunky embellishments so i have this little container and it's got all sorts of uh, rubber charms and bits and pieces from various collections and it's something that i don't i don't often reach for i don't often rifle through so i thought it'd be perfect for uh, this layout so this is a little bit of mixed media just some very simple basic mixed media and a pattern paper background on a 9 by 12 layout so two things that i have slowly been becoming um, from when I started scrapbooking I didn't do either of these things and now I'm introducing it much more in my um, process and I'm, I'm liking it. So I've got a, a multiple photo layout today and one thing that I love about uh, multiple photo layouts that are photos from the same like a same moment I guess you could say like different facial expressions from the same little moment captured I love to do these giant photo strips like faux photo strip so I just matted my photos on uh, some polka dot paper I thought the white would pop really well against the wood grain background I picked the wood grain because my, the photos were very um kind of neutrally colored except for the pop of blue of Archer's uh, jumper and so I thought the brown would be a good neutral color to to add to the photos so here I'm using a makeup sponge and I've sped this up very very fast I don't sponge this quickly I wish I did it would make life a lot quicker when I was scrapbooking um, but I've sped this up like six times fast so that you don't have to watch 10 minutes of me struggling to get the uh, paint onto this page my trick for stenciling because I do get a lot of questions about it is to dab the paint off on a surface first so if you get the paint out of the the jar the container whatever it is then dab it onto um, either a, like a plastic plate or something you can easily wipe off or throw away and the your your sponge needs to be not gloopy with paint uh, it almost seems like there's no paint left on it and it's not going to work but it does it's all sucked up in there uh, in the sponge and I just use a pack of cheap uh, makeup sponges from my local two dollar shop and here I wanted to make the hearts pop a little bit so I've just grabbed my white uni ball signo broad gel pen which is the white gel pen that I always use so if you ever see it in a video and I don't mention it that's what it is uh, and I am using that just to outline the hearts a little bit I waited for the paint to dry of course that's that's something I learned the hard way you can think paint's dry, but it's not. Just just be really certain that it's dry. Then I realized that I did a bit of an oopsie and I had an extra photo uh, for this layout that I forgot about. So I grabbed a paper that was similar to the paper that I matted the four larger photos on and I matted that little one uh, there. And I really like the way that that looks. It's definitely a, a photo format that um, I want to repeat again in the future and I just wanted to maybe add a little extra pop to this photo so I'm having a look through my scraps of blue paper and trying to find something that um, might work this is a, a scrap from an old inky patreon printable and I'm seeing if the blue will work I don't really have enough to properly mat it so I'm just kind of working with what I've got and putting a little bit here uh, but this page came together really quickly and I think that the grab fives are a fantastic way to use some older things in your stash so what I try to do is I pick some new things so for this video it was the uh, the chipboard pieces I think the the two chipboard sets I had only recently bought I do believe at this at the time of filming this 
and uh, so they were new um, and then the little container of rubbery things that I constantly uh, avoid using and um, I just I just don't reach for them that was old and some of the words that I was looking at were also uh, old sorry words just didn't work then um, and ribbon ribbon is something that I never use on scrapbook pages um, I think I came into scrapbooking after ribbon was very very popular and um, so a lot of the first pages that I saw for inspiration didn't use it at that time uh, and so it's not something that I have a great stash of I think some of this came some of it came in a kit and then the rest of it I think is left over from my Christmas gift wrapping um, and it's a piece you know when you have a really nice piece of ribbon or a really nice piece of trim and it's too pretty to throw away but it's not big enough to wrap a present or anything with that's where I, my most of my ribbon collection comes from it's those little offcuts that we use for a separate purpose um, but yeah just didn't quite uh make it to the gift wrapping section and, and, and otherwise wound up in my craft room just hanging out there not getting used pom-pom trim mm, let me know your thoughts on it i have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it to be honest i love the look of it i love its playfulness and it's cute and pom-pommy but my goodness is it hard to stick down uh it's annoying it's it's rather annoying to stick down so let me know if you use it in your scrapping um, because I'd be interested to know if anyone else also has a love-hate relationship with it because yeah it's I think that's another reason why I don't reach for ribbon because I quite often have a bit of trouble adhering it to my pages or um, it becomes a bit bulky in my plastic page protectors I think I do end up maybe it could be after I finish filming um, but I do end up uh, stapling the ends there just to really secure it down added my title yay today and um, just in that little spot there I just wanted a small title that could kind of cr creep into that little nook in the corner because the hearts were such a bold statement in the background at the top going through and trying to figure out what rubber charms that I could use I use that happiness one and I'm just sticking these down with wet glue um, I know that I have had issues in the past I, I, I don't know what glue it was Oh, it could have been that Helma something or other with a number. I don't know what it was, but one glue I used kind of melted the rubber a little bit. Uh, so don't use that one if if you um, if you do have it. I forget what it's called. And then I've used double sided tape before as well, and they have just completely popped off straight away. Uh, glossy accents I've had success with gluing them down as well. But they are they're, they're cheeky little things and they the, this was just the layout of things that don't want to stick really uh, combined with the pom-pom trim we're just heading for disaster but nevertheless it's part of the grab five challenge and I'm, I'm gonna give it my best um, so we're currently I'm filming a little bit ahead but this video is coming out in June hopefully we're in June right now and I'm really hoping to have one live stream in June if I Am. it may have already been announced possibly if it hasn't uh, make sure you keep an eye on my Facebook page or my Inky Quill Facebook my Inky Quill Insta or here on YouTube I'll do a post um, when I have the date I've just got to figure out what I can't figure I can't plan it yet because I'm currently filming this in May uh, the start of May and so I'm not quite sure where I'll be and what dates are free uh, so I'm hoping to do a live stream in June hopefully I'm adding a few little bits and pieces here a couple of journaling uh, little pieces on that label and then I had this blue heart I think was left over from a card making video that I made on patreon and it had just been hanging around because I, I made a heap of these little hearts and uh, then I never did uh, I, I used them all except for maybe two and uh, they were just hanging around so it's nice to get those used up added a little 
roller date stamp down the bottom here and the layout is complete i hope you enjoyed this page i did use all the things didn't i stencil ribbon chip did i use chipboard did i forget the chipboard did i break my own grab five rule oh my goodness i did there's no chipboard there is there <gasps> okay well this is kind of a grab four video i'm really sorry i forgot the chipboard ah! all right guys i'll see you in the next video bye